how long would you want to live? It is a question that some of us think a lot about, but some of us think about it a lot more than others. One man is using his life as a science experiment to see just how long he can live. And we're not talking about just making 100. We're talking about like 140, 150, 160. Our latest Stay Tuned Now original report takes you there. He calls himself the world's most measured human. And if you ask him how old he is, well, here's how he explains it. So we can say my left ear is 64. Okay. So I have hearing damage because a child. My diaphragm strength is age 18. My lung capacity is age 18. My heart is about a, a dozen different ages and different uh, features of it, but it's collectively about 37. For those of us keeping track the old-fashioned way, he's 45, but he might not be aging like the rest of us because he is doing everything he can to try to slow down growing old. It's an open science experiment. What's the end goal? To demonstrate that we can dramatically slow the rate of aging and reverse the aging that has happened. If we didn't have decay and decline as a assumption that happened, what if it, it would change everything about being human? And if that sounds expensive, it is. But 10 years ago, Johnson sold his company Braintree Venmo to PayPal for $800 million. And now he spends about $2 million each year trying to reverse the aging of his body. We set a world record reversing my epigenetic age by 5.1 years in seven months. He says he does it by sticking to a strict regimen he calls Blueprint. And that protocol covers everything from vegan meals like this. Over a month, I eat about 70 pounds of vegetables. To a whole bunch of supplements. I drink this and I take 52 pills. 52 pills in the morning? Yes, when I, upon waking. Wow. And a workout routine designed by his teenage son who he competes with. Johnson's body fat now down to 5%. And around his house, everything money can buy to slow down aging. We're trying to achieve skin quality like an 18-year-old. And with all due respect, right now when people see it, they're like, oh, there's a rich guy doing it. Sure. And this costs millions and millions of dollars. You have a team of some 30 doctors. How far away are we from having society, from anyone having access to, to these types of therapies? My primary objective with Blueprint is not to solve the accessibility problem globally. The objective in the earliest stages is to show something's feasible. Dr. Nir Barzilai is the director of the Einstein Institute of Aging Research at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York. And he agrees that aging doesn't have to be synonymous with disease and decline. It's the aging that drives the disease. And it's an important concept because if we stop the aging, we stop the disease. And I'm not talking about one disease. I'm talking about all diseases of aging, or most of them, certainly cardiovascular and cancer and cognitive decline and mortality. Meanwhile, Johnson says he'll keep searching for that 21st century fountain of youth. I don't have a fear of death. I have a love of life. I mean, how lucky are we that we exist? So why not make the best of it? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.